How's it going everyone? My name is Boone and today I'm starting a weekly series called Tuesday Tools. Now the reason I wanted to start this series is because I've been receiving a lot of requests to review specific After Effects plugins. And a lot of these plugins that I've been sent are really, really interesting. So I figured if I could focus and go in depth on one a week, that would be really cool. So for this first week, I'm gonna be reviewing a really cool tool called Beauty Studio from Boris FX. Now this tool allows you to do retouching work on video. It's essentially like digital makeup. I recently used this on a commercial job. I did some retouching work on 17 specific shots of a music video, which unfortunately Unfortunately, obviously I can't show you anything that I did. So what I'm going to be doing today is using that plugin on this ugly mug. Now if you end up liking this plugin, you want to purchase it, be sure to use my promo code that's going to give you 15% off, not only on this product, but if you want to buy anything from Boris FX, use my promo code Boon15. Now while I'm using Adobe After Effects for this tutorial, Beauty Studio also works with all of these programs. In this example, I'm going to smooth out some of the blotchy areas on my face here. So here's a quick before and after. I'm inside of After Effects now, and once I have everything installed, I can go over here and find the filter in the effects panel by searching Beauty Studio. And now I'll just drag it, drop it right on my clip. Now there's a lot going on with this effect, but to use it, we can boil it down to the process of just two simple steps, isolating and smoothing. Now that the effect is applied, I can already see a crazy amount of smoothing that's already going on here, and that's because by default, the effect is trying to isolate the skin tones. But I definitely don't want it to look like this, so let's get in here and tweak the settings. Now to take a look at the changes, I can open up the compare section here, and I'm gonna select side by side. It's a really cool little view here. Help me keep my eye on things. So first I'm gonna go to the bottom and I'm gonna open up this pixel chooser feature. Now this allows us to isolate an area via mats and masks. Now I can use these tools separately or I can use them together. So first I'm gonna open up the mat section and see what's going on here. So if I look down here, I can see these color pickers and this is where it automatically tried to select my skin tone. So I'm gonna go ahead and reselect these and then I'm gonna adjust this key via all of these specific attributes just below. And to help, I'm gonna select the view mask slash matte checkbox up here. So here it's showing us this black and white image and only the white parts are gonna be affected by the smoothing. Okay, I have the skin selection honed in as best as I can get it, but you can still look at this is very messy. I need to refine this using my masks. So I'm gonna open up the mask tab here. So if you look at the drop down menu here, there are a lot of different options here. I can actually load masks from that I've already created inside of After Effects. I can use these pre-made shapes or I can use Boris's Mocha Planer Tracker. If you're familiar with Boris FX, you know that they created the popular Mocha Tracker. So I'm gonna go ahead and launch that right here from inside the filter. Now once again, I'm creating these masks to really tighten up the selection. I only want this smoothing to be affecting my skin. So I wanna really mask out my hair and the background and my beard, also my eyes and my nostrils. I wanna keep all of that stuff really sharp. So to do that, I'm gonna add a couple of different masks here inside of Mocha. First I'll draw a mask around my face, not including my beard, and I'll track that. Then I'll draw three different masks, two to cover my eyes and one to cover my nostrils. And I'm gonna change the blend mode of all three of these to subtract. Now, once again, this is gonna keep those elements sharp and it's gonna make sure that they're untouched by the smoothing process. All right, now all I need to do is save out my project in Mocha and then I'm gonna close this interface and that will automatically apply this to my clip. Now I'm gonna open up the mask and just feather this out. So I'm gonna feather that out to maybe 25 pixels. Make sure it blends better. Okay, now let's take another look at our mask here. Okay, much better. Don't worry, I know this still looks absolutely terrible, but now we're gonna head over and do the smoothing. So with these attributes, you can make really specific adjustments to small, medium, and large details. Now to smooth out just these blotches, I'm gonna bring the small details down and keep the medium and large details high. Keeping the small details down low is gonna bring some of those small pores out. You're gonna see some of that stuff. Gives you more detail, makes it look a little more realistic, and really helps you avoid that plasticky retouch look. You know, in some cases, obviously you wanna avoid that and get rid of those pores. So every shot is gonna require different settings here, and you might need to spend a lot of time tweaking it to look at different looks. And I really recommend that every once in a while you step away from it and really so you can get a fresh pair of eyes on it. Okay, so now I have all my smooth settings the way I want them, but it's still looking a little strong. So I have two other options. I can actually lower the master amount attribute here, and then even further down, I can mix this with the original shot. 
And obviously all these attributes are keyframable. So if you have a shot that's lasting a couple of seconds and you know part of the shot is looking a little too strong or a little too fake, but the rest of the shot looks good, you can use those keyframes to you know animate and bring that in and out as you'd like. And I'm gonna go ahead and switch the compare back on and let's take a look at what we got. Okay, that's looking good. And there are a few other features here. I can do some sharpening, I can turn that on, and I can choose whether I wanna sharpen the entire clip or if I just wanna sharpen what's being masked. And I can do the same thing with color correction. I have a color correction checkbox here, I can check that. And let's say I wanna bring the saturation down just a little bit, it's looking a little too red, so I can bring that down. And once again, I can select the whole clip or just the mask. And now let's take a look at our final shot. All right, so there you go. That's Beauty Studio from Boris Effects. Really cool retouching and digital makeup tool. Now, once again, if you like it and you wanna buy it, be sure to use my promo code. It's gonna give you 15% off. It's Boon15, and that's gonna give you 15% off anything in their shop. Okay, and if you wanna see more cool tools like this, be sure to check back next week and every Tuesday. I'll see you around.